Eric Anderson was born at Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach and raised in Irvine. At age eight, his first role was as the Major General in The Pirates of Penzance with the Irvine Children's Chorus. A product of entertainers, Nils and Leslie Anderson, he was fortunate enough to go to IUSD schools which allowed him to nurture and refine his talents from an early age. He won Macy Awards, Music and Arts Commendation for Youth, every year from middle school until his senior year at Irvine High School. My first real memory of Eric as a stand-up performer was when he played the dentist in Little Shop of Horrors. Um, absolutely zany, off the wall, and I thought, who is this kid? I went to see Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Eric was in the chorus at that point. He played one of the brothers. And I kept thinking to myself, what a lucky man am I that are going to get these people for hopefully for the next four years. And that was the first time I remember Eric. And when he came to my classroom and beginning drama, he took it by storm. Eric was the only student to ever receive the Emeritus Award for acquiring more awards than any other student in Macy history. After high school, he worked consistently, doing regional theater throughout Southern California and garnering honors every year for his talents, including the very first Joel Hirshhorn Award for Outstanding Achievement in Musical Theater from the Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle. Steadily developing his craft as a chameleonic actor, Eric effortlessly evolved from one extreme character to the next, soon building him a reputation as a Lon Chaney for the 21st century. I think the first time I realized how talented he was is in a production of Carousel. When he was singing the role of, of Billy, I sort of stepped back from where I was sitting and just looked out over the amphitheater and, and everyone there was completely mesmerized by what he was doing. And I, I thought, man, he's good. While in L.A., he became a member of the incomparable Troubadour Theater Company, spanning roles from Othello to Ophelia. In 2007, he stepped out of his SoCal comfort zone when he was cast in the national tour of Camelot, playing opposite Michael York and Lou Diamond Phillips. When his fiance Jessica Rush, booked Gypsy on Broadway, he left the tour early, packed up all of their belongings, and together drove across the country to set up shop in New York. Within a year's time, Eric made his own Broadway debut, joining the Tony Award-winning revival of South Pacific at Lincoln Center. Earlier this year, he had the honor of being flown to South Korea as one of the only Americans to perform in the Taegu International Musical Festival. Over the years, Eric also had success on both coasts, doing numerous commercials and voiceover work, including the singing voice of Shaggy in the soon-to-be-released Scooby-Doo and the Song of the Vampire. He's been seen on television, guest starring on shows such as The Good Wife, Law and Order Criminal Intent, and Alias, and in movies like God's Behaving Badly and New Year's Eve. Eric is also picking up notoriety in the concert circuit as the lead singer of the greatest Shel Silverstein tribute band ever, the Freakers Ball, which he also assembled. Eric will make his biggest dream come true when he'll marry Jessica this year, 11-11-11 to be exact. If I could describe Eric Anderson in one word, it would be complete. He was a total package when I saw him as a teenager. He continues to be the person who delivered the goods of complete character, whether it's silly, whether it's dramatic, whether it's musical theater, he can do it all. It's always a reward to see kids up on stage, and um, Eric has rewarded me many times with wonderful performances. I couldn't be happier that he's getting this award tonight. Congratulations, Eric. Please welcome your 2011 honoree for excellence in music, Eric Anderson. Just one.